Melina de Hart and the name of our social enterprise is Pilo and Art. We are in the Free State province in the centre of South Africa and we are situated in Machabeli, which is part of the Lechula Puchwa district municipality. In 2014 we started with the research and development around the idea of a social enterprise using local fabrics. I've been an entrepreneur since um, 1996 and I've looked at various different models. I love a changing environment, I love design and I love helping people. And um, I just thought, we, you know, Maya Angelou says that if you learn you should teach and if you get you should give. So I really wanted to be part of building a new South Africa and making a change. That's why I decided on a social enterprise um, working together with informal seamstresses, pulling them to together under a, a single brand. Uh, actually we were almost bankrupt when I started this business. Um, being a serial entrepreneur, I was in a venture and engineering company and we were de defrauded with, by the tune of 2.4 million rand. So uh, we were as broke as can be. So I had to use, you know, my talents and uh, one of them is helping people, entrepreneurial development. So I created a youth program for rural school girls in our area trying to plant the seed. So all I needed for that was myself and my knowledge and the schools uh, saying that yes we can work with the great tens and of course businesses in the vicinity who, who contributed by donating their venues. With that program I entered a competition and you will see the certificate there we won second prize so I won a hundred thousand rand and that is what I started better now. When we started of course First of all, we needed um, income, which we solved by applying my skills and my talents and winning 100,000. But then it was trying to find a product that would fill a niche out there in the market. It doesn't help you make products and you don't have customers. So first of all, it was trying to find a unique offer, offering, uh, which will be still doable for even inexperienced seamstresses that come through the incubator. And then it was to try and, and cultivate quality, the importance of quality. I was shocked whenever I went to an exhibition to find products and if you turn them inside out, the quality was just shocking. So from the start we wanted to have a quality product. So that was the challenge in the beginning, finding the product, uh, establishing a culture of good quality and then of course now we're building our brand, so we continuously need cash flow if we want to do research and development and you know try out. Every time you start a new product, it costs money before you even know whether it's going to uh, bring an income. Um, I've been in entrepreneurship for a long time, as I said, and when CEDAS op opened their doors um, in the Chula in 2005, I was one of their first uh, providers. I did business plans, marketing material, uh, the training, facilitation, all those things. So, you know, from CEDA has been my partner in Pelo and Art even way before I started Pelo and Art. So, I've known about all the great products. I've been a provider, I've been a SME ME supported by them. Um, yes, so CEDA all the way. CEDA has assisted me first of all with training. Um, since the early years, uh, entrepreneurial training, financial management training, organizational development training but most probably the, the biggest push CEDA gave me was to send me on the on Empretec course, uh, the first one in the Free State and that was in 2012 and there that was an absolute fantastic course. Over there I ended top of my class, I had the most entrepreneurial capabilities, uh, I had the best business plan, I made the most money and because of that I was offered by the ILO, International Labour Organization, uh, the chance to go to the ILO University in Italy and over there I was really exposed to social entrepreneurship, women development, youth development and as they say, the rest is history. Tina's interventions has helped me right from the beginning. You know, if you don't have to pay out money on marketing material um, and initial training, that is cash flow that you can put towards something in your business that will actually be generating cash. So those interventions are priceless. 
then the opportunity they give us to experience the outside world selecting us when we apply and they see we're good enough to, to go to local and international exhibitions we can't do it on our own we can't afford it to go to an exhibition is very expensive but what you learn at an exhibition just helps you to bring back home to make certain that your product is fine-tuned your offering is more productive um, and you know you can really fit a specific niche out there so training interventions and uh, exhibition interventions that has been offered by CEDAP to us has been fantastic